Hey, Rink, uh, Coach talked about the defensive. Just the, it seemed like the the performance wasn't where it was mm -hmm. last against Indiana. I guess, what, from your vantage point, what was the reason for the, the step back defensively? Um, well, for one, I think they scouted us pretty well. But the other, like, this is a very physical team, and I think we thought we were ready, but we kind of got surprised in the beginning a little bit. And I think our talk and our vision has to be better. Uh, I think our, on the ball, sometimes we should have competed a little harder. They, they drove in there a little bit and got uh, too many open or un, not contested enough layups. And on the backside, we just didn't have vision and communication to get the shooter. So they also got hot in the first half. And I mean, if you give up 53 in the first half, you, you know it's going to be a tough day. Mm -hmm. They did a good job of pulling you away kind of from the basket. Mm -hmm. We kind of, like, I mean, we, on, on the scouting, we saw that uh, 22 uh, likes to uh, pop his uh, screen, so that just kind of drags me out a little more. And especially with Wall, Tyler Wall, like if you got a four that posts up that heavy and you put your five more out on the perimeter, then yeah, you, you drag me out a little bit. It's just, it's just kind of the scheme that they play. Um, obviously, I, I try and get inside as much as possible because I know that. With me, with my big body, I can try and help out there. But just with the scheme that I run, it's sometimes a little difficult, uh, and you get in, in rotations uh, more outside on the perimeter. How, how challenging does that get with uh, Wisconsin's ball movement? Just mm -hmm. what it, what does that do to make things difficult defensively? It's a good team. They they know their strength. They don't they don't rush anything. They're very under control, and they they run their stuff really well. So. Um, I mean, they know how to find each other. They've been playing each other uh, with each other for such a long time. So, uh, I mean, if you got that type of team kind of chemistry, us, we try to uh, disrupt them a little bit, but they, I mean, they play better than us today. How important is it to just kind of accept the fact that they had a really good day shooting? You did a lot of good things offensively. Winning on the Big Ten is hard, especially uh -huh. against a ranked team. Yeah. And then you got the number one team in the nation coming to your house in a couple of days. I guess, how, how quickly do you just flush this one for what it was and, and try to turn the page. I mean, this one, this one stinks for sure. Like you come in here and you know you got an opportunity to to do some something really well, good for yourself. But now that the game is over, like it's tough, but can't change this one anymore. So um, I'm definitely gonna sit in it for the rest of the day. But like tomorrow, it's a quick turnaround. We play again on Tuesday, so. Tomorrow, everybody gotta gotta show up and just move on to the next one. Learn from this one. I think there will be some good clips on on what we can improve on, especially defensively, because we we need to improve defensively. Um, yeah, and then I mean we gotta move on quickly. Tomorrow will be uh, I think 30 minutes on this game, but then after that we we move on to the next one. This being your second game back, how's your knee feeling? How are you doing with all of that? Uh, still kind of settling in. The knee felt good today. Um, just kind of trying to figure out with like practice and, and all of that to not get too much load on it because it's just it's something you got to manage. Like the the more pounding my knee gets, the like the more risk you run. So it's something we got to manage the rest of the season. But today felt good. Um, so if, if I can be healthy for all the games, that's that's the goal. Thanks, Ring.